Ace of Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. Six of Wands, clarified by the Five of Swords. Now, the Six of Wands, it actually signals victory. Yeah, if you're anxious about a court proceeding, or if you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can also indicate some type of celebration. Maybe you're part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or maybe you're receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of, four, six of Wands can make you feel really good about yourself. Yeah, if you take a look at the card, the picture, it kind of speaks for itself. It speaks volumes. You see the Six of Wands, it's the card above the word pass. See this lady, she's standing on a podium. She's waving her wand in the air, and then she has all these people below her. They're mimicking her. They're doing exactly what she is. They're waving their wands in the air just like she is. So, this card can make you feel like you have a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else, but where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah, with the Six of Wands, like I said, it's about victory, success, recognition. It could also be about someone who likes attention. Yeah, it's a very um, magnetic type of energy. Two people could have a lot of chemistry. Two people could um, be like soulmates, whereas um, you feel like they finish your words because they know exactly what you're going to say. You know that. If you've ever had great chemistry with someone, you get that with the Six of Wands. Um, the two of you mirror each other. You get that with strong soulmates, twin flames. Yeah, that's like the Six of Wands. It's a really good chemistry type of energy. Now, it's with the Five of Swords. When this card appears, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. could be about life. Maybe about a few people in particular, or a person. Don't ignore these feelings, but make sure you don't speak every word you're thinking and feeling either. Because this could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So you have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. You know, with the Five of Swords, you have to make sure. You have to make sure that you pick your battles. So, so Libra, the message that I'm getting is that the recent past energy between you and your person, Six of Wands, clarified by this Five of Swords. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that for. Some of you, Libras, you, you're dealing with someone that wanted the Six of Wands with you. They wanted, you, they wanted your attention. They wanted you to recognize them. They wanted victory and success with you. But I'm kidding, you didn't give it to them, and they're pissed. Their person is, was very mad about this. Yeah, because the Five of Swords, that, that's a card below the word pass. This man's running around with two swords in his hand. He's got three at his feet. He'll pick them up and use them if he, if he wants to. Not even if he has to, but if you just feel like you want to do it. There were people sitting there at this fire. Five of Wands was the car below the word pass. I don't know if I said that. There were people sitting there at this fire that you see. When they got a glimpse of him, they all scrammed. 
and those wolves and those dogs in front of them, they just got a glimpse of them and they're about to scram. So you made, you made this person really mad. <laughs> or they just, they're upset that, that they didn't get the attention, the recognition that they wanted from you. Yeah, made them very angry, very upset, this person. Um, yeah, you got somebody that uh, really liked you, Virgo. I mean, not Virgo. <laughs> Just finished Virgo. Sorry, it's so hard to keep up with 12 zodiac signs. Anyway, Libra. Someone really, really likes you. You're not giving them the attention that they want. And they're pissed. That's the recent past energy between you and this person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look, Libra, and see what's coming up for... You and your person. We got the lovers, and it's with the devil card. Now, the lovers is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible when you get this card in a reading, you could start to feel or you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. But when you can choose, it's saying it's choose love. It's saying it's a time when love is likely to be brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. When you get the love card. This could be a new relationship or maybe a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be happy about how romance is going. And others will notice how you're glowing. Serious stuff, the lover's card. Yeah, very serious. It could mean even in a new relationship where you're meeting each other's family and talking about the word forever. Now, it's with the devil card. With the devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. You have to make sure you don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure that you're coming to it on your own. It's going to be, it's going to be um, crucial for you to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions. You feel like holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions. But more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they're very important. Yeah, those are important too. So coming up for you and your person, Libra, lovers clarified by this devil card. Okay, so the message that I'm, I'm getting is that your person, they they might feel like you're you're a, you're their soulmate. They could feel a a deep bond with you. They could be feeling that hmm. the lover's card could be about a good opportunity. It can be about deep love. It can be about a partnership. It could mean the strength of two, a union coming together. So your person, they see you as a, as their soulmate. They feel like they have a deep bond with you. They feel a deep connection with you. Or they could be in love, because the lover's card is about 
falling in love or being in love. This person could be in love with you. Maybe you don't know it, but they feel some type of deep, deep connection with you or towards you or about you. But you feel like this person has some type of devil type of energy, maybe some toxic behaviors. They bring toxicity to the connection. Or maybe they have addictions, because a devil card can be about addictions. Maybe greed, envy, jealousy, materialism, obsession, sexual loss, drug abuse, alcohol abuse. So, yeah, you feel that they bring... Devil energy, maybe just toxic behaviors, maybe just a toxic energy, yeah, so that's how you feel about them, but they, this person could be in love with you, Libra, that could be why they're so pissed that you're not giving them the attention that they need, or they want from you. And I guess I can see why you're not, because they bring a lot of devil energy to the connection. They're very, they could be a very toxic type of person, or just have to a toxic type of energy. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. we got the Wheel of Fortune, and it's with the Knight of Swords. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a card that reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it's going to pass. If all of a sudden, you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective, as that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is actually outside of our control, but even that's okay. Roll with the changes and always think positive. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, it, it brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful type of energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It can point to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you are likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords, it's showing a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. The Knight of Swords actually goes after their heart's desire. So your challenge, Libra, will of fortune clarified by this Knight of Swords. Yeah, so... I'm getting that your person, for some reason, they feel, they're feeling lucky. They're feeling like they, they could have good luck with you at this time, for some reason. Maybe it's because it's the holidays. Maybe they had a thought in their mind that now is a good time to come towards you. So if you're wondering if you're going to hear from them, yes, you are. That's them, the Knight of Swords. The card below the word challenge. They're rushing in. Knight of Swords cuts out anything in their way just to be with their person. So here they come. Rushing in, trying to sweep you off your feet. They feel like now, for some reason, they feel like fortune is in their favor. They could actually have a good chance of getting your attention this time. They're feeling lucky. I don't know. I don't know what happened to them or what's going on, but maybe it's the holidays. They're feeling, they're feeling, um, 
Tis the season to be jolly. So, yeah. Don't be surprised if you hear from this person. Or if they just show up at your door. Rushing in the night of swords, coming to sweep you off your feet. Like they feel like now is the time. Yeah, they feel like they're on a lucky streak. They could be feeling that way with this Wheel of Fortune. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We have the Six of Pentacles ends with the Ace of Swords. Now the Six of Pentacles is often a sign of a turn for the better. Especially when it comes to money, because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that can mean money, cash, coins, income, finance. It's one of the more positive pinnacles in the tarot. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. When you get described in a reading, you're heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day. Not just a positive time, but a whole complete cycle. Six of Pentacles can be a card about generosity, meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Now, as with this Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords can indicate a new beginning of some sort, maybe on several fronts. But sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind, maybe from a relationship, a job, or a situation. You have to note that as anxiety producing, as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually really good beneficial energy. That's getting you to where you want to go, where you need to be. So... For your outcome, Libra, Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords. So like I said, your person, they come rushing in. They think that they can have luck with you now. For some reason, they think that this is the time that they could actually get in your good graces. Or get in, your, get in, on your, get in with you. You're feeling lucky. So, they could be coming in, Six of Pentacles, um, it's showing that they could be coming in, <coughs> coming in, trying to um, be nice to you. Like I said, the Six of Pentacles can be about generosity, giving. So, maybe they bring you some nice Christmas gifts, or just being really... Or doing nice things for you. Maybe that's why they're rushing in. They figured they'll have luck with you if they do some nice things for you or be giving. So they're rushing in and they've got gifts flowers, candy, presents. And they're they're hoping that with this ace of swords there is that you don't cut them out. They just don't want you to cut them out. They don't want you to cut them out. They, they want a fresh new start with you. That's what you get with the Ace of Swords. A fresh new start or a new beginning. So they think they got to figure it out. If they rush in, sweep you off your feet, do some nice things for you, buy you some nice things that you just won't they just don't want you to cut them out Libra I'm starting to feel sorry for this person it just seems like they just don't want to lose you yeah wow that's kind of kind of sad I, I want to say I hope you two work it out but I don't know what the I don't really don't know what the real situation. I don't know everything, so yeah. So anyway, Libra, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. 
As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We're all going to get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading, just in case this reading did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind when you get my readings, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. Yeah, so just take the reading for however it resonates. Because, like I said, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I'm wishing you happy holidays. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.